Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you a neat trick to edit a Microsoft Word document in the Google Docs app for iOS on your iPhone. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. This is the Google Docs app for the iPhone. And you can see in the top left corner, there is a Word file. It says City Clerk Niagara Falls. Now, uh, basically the first step you need to do in order to edit the Word document is get it into, into Google Docs. And there's, two, there's a couple ways to do it. One way is to convert an existing Google Docs file to Microsoft Word, and I have another video that shows how to do that. The other way is to upload the Word file to Google Drive, and then you can open it in Docs. But let's say that you've already done that step. You just want to edit it. So tap it to open it up, and actually, it's ready to go right now. In the lower right corner, you'll see a little pencil icon or a pen icon. You can tap that, or you can just tap anywhere within the document, and basically your editing ability will show up. You can see the cursor blinking right there. So let's say I want to change the date. So I'm going to put the cursor, just tapping it right, at, right ahead of it, ahead of uh, January 27th, and I'm going to erase that and change it to October 27th. Okay? Once you're done with that, just click the check mark in the upper left corner, and that edit is done. It's saved as a Microsoft Word file. If you want to, you can share it, you can send it as an attachment, you can do something else with it. But the fact that it's a .docx file is really convenient uh, for a lot of people. And basically, I'm going to tap the pencil icon in the lower right corner again. You know, there's a limited amount of options you can do with Microsoft Word in, in the Google Docs app for iOS. Um, for instance, you can, you can bold text, you can underline it. Uh, maybe like if I wanted to bold her name, I could do that. If I wanted to change the color of, her, of, the, of the text, I could do that too, okay? But that's pretty simple stuff. It's basically formatting changes, um, adding bullets, changing the font, something like that. But sophisticated things like doing you know, templates or anything like that in Microsoft Word, uh, you actually have to get the Microsoft Word app to do that. So Google Docs is good for just simple edits, not sophisticated stuff. If this video helps you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.